Labour MEP was one of the two Britons who died in the suicide bomb attack in Kabul last night. They, Ed Miliband, paid tribute. My thoughts and the thoughts of the whole Labour Party, he said, are with the family and friends of Del Singh, who was killed in yesterday's tragic suicide bomb in Kabul. Del spent over ten years carrying out vital work on development projects in Afghanistan, Kosovo, Sudan, Sierra Leone and other countries. Simon Chase, originally from Liverpool but living in Northern Ireland, was also killed as the bomber blew himself up outside a Lebanese restaurant and two gunmen burst into the back of the building and began shooting at the diners. 21 people died in total, including four UN staff. The restaurant was popular with Westerners and affluent Afghans. The Taliban say they carried out the killings. Ahmad Fawad, one of the cooked managed to escape. We could hear the shooting. Two attackers were inside. All the guests who were eating dinner were killed, including our manager and the other cook. Insurgent attacks in the Afghan capital are not uncommon, but a killing spree like this is rare. Experts say as British and US combat forces prepare to leave Afghanistan at the end of this year, the Taliban are flexing their muscles. The Taliban conduct these kind of bombings, kind of shootings, on a daily basis, killing scores of Afghans. But killing foreigners is worth more because it puts the Taliban in the news, and kings in the capital are worth more because it underscores for the insurgency government is weak, foreign forces are leaving, and we are on the rise. But the Afghan government says there's no way back for the former rulers of the country. What they have done, what atrocity they have committed so far, killing civilians, killing children and women. 30 million of Afghans do not want them. There's a zero percent sympathy for the Taliban in Afghanistan. So they are gone. They belong to the history in the past. Nevertheless, 13 years after they were driven from power in Afghanistan, the Pashtun hardliners are pushing once again to have a say in the future of the country once the West and its troops go home in 11 months' time. David Britton's